Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Karibuni sana wapenzi wa tazamaji. Bwana Yesu awabariki na furahi sana kwa pamoja na nyinyi. Kwa hiyo nawakaribisha sana katika mazungumzo haya machache ambayo tutakuwa nayo katika mchana wa leo. Ah, uh, siamini nyinyi mtamsikiliza zikiwa sangapi huko lakini mimi nasema tu mchana. Kwa hiyo nasema karibuni. Kifupi tu nataka kuwakaribisha na kuambia karibuni sana. Naacha niwatakie amani ya Bwana Yesu Kristo na upendo wake uwe pamoja na nyinyi na Bwana awabariki. Um, leo ninaleta somo fupi tu um, ambapo nimeona kuna haja ya mambo ya msingi. Unajua katika Ukristo pia kuna mambo ya msingi kwamba kama Mkristo hajengo kwenye msingi wa mambo hayo anakuwa Mkristo ambaye anayumba yumba, anakuwa Mkristo ambaye hana msimamo katika ulimwengu wa kiroho. Kwa hiyo ina, inabidi kuwe baadhi ya mambo ya msingi ambayo nimeona bila shaka yanahitajika. Yanahitajika kabisa hasa kulingana na kitu kitu ambacho kimetukia huko e, cha watu kuvuliwa nguo uchi isiji kafikie kesho kesho yake kwa ndugu na dada ambao wanasikiliza video hizi na wao wakapita katika mkasa huo. Lakini naamini ya kwamba mkiwa na msimamo na mkiwa na msingi imaha hamtapita katika mambo hayo ambayo ni mambo kabisa ya giza mambo kabisa ya kishetani mambo ambayo hayastahili ndio maana sisi kama wahubiri sisi ambao watu ambao wameitwa na Mungu ili kutenda kazi lazima tuwe tukija kuelimisha wakristo na kuwapa ufunuo kulingana na jinsi Roho Mtakatifu ametuongoza tuwafikie leo ni jambo kabisa la msingi moja miongoni mwa misingi ya ukristo ni hili ambalo tutaongea leo Nimeliweka katika somo nikaita hivi kwamba kila muamini halisi ana nguvu tele za uponyaji wa magonjwa yote. Hilo ndilo somo. Kila muamini halisi ana nguvu tele za uponyaji wa magonjwa yote. So katika hili nataka ujue ya kwamba wewe kwa jinsi umeamini Yesu Kristo kuwa Bwana na mokozi wako una nguvu zote za uponyaji wa mapepo yote katika kuzimu na katika dunia hii nguvu hizo unazo wewe kwa sababu unaamini Yesu Kristo kuwa Bwana na mwokozi wako lakini sasa kwa sababu ya kutukufunzwa inaweza kukufanye kukimbia nyuma ya watu simanishi ya kwamba usiamini mfungaji wako simanishi ya kwamba usiamini aposto usiamini prophet usiamini nini au nani lazima uamini hao ni watumishi wako lakini kikubwa ni kwamba pia ujue kama wewe kama wewe una nguvu you have power according to Jesus Christ himself ya kuponya all kind of sickness ya kuponya all kind of disease you have that power through Jesus Christ and that is what we're going to see today. Sababu najua ukijua hili na ukisimama kwa msingi huo katika hili uwezi yuma. Ai wezekani uwezi yuma. Uwezi enda hapa na pale ukiumbishwa na watu ambao wamejita kwa vyeo mbalimbali tofauti. Uwezi yuma. Kwa nini utayumba? Utayumba kwa sababu you know where you stand. Because you know the word of God. You know Jesus said this about this. Ni kigonjwa Yesu alisema hivi. Nikipata shida Yesu alisema hivi. So as long as you know what the word of God says about something, you have to stand on that. Njia rahisi sana ya kuamini Mungu ni kuishi neno lake. Ni kumshikilia kwenye neno. Bas, shikilia yeye kwenye neno lake and stay there. Don't move. Don't be shakeable. Just stay there. You will see the glory of God. When the Bible says something believe it that's all Unajua nini ambacho Maria aliambia wale watu kwenye ile harusi ya Kanani wakati divai ilipoisha <laughs> Aliwaambia hivi 
fanyeni kila kitu atakachowaambia Faites tout ce qu'il vous dira Wakati Yesu alikuja akaambia Maria hiyo mwanamke ni nani na wewe mbona mimi sijaanza kazi Akaenda akaambia wale watu hivi Huyo jamaa chana naye huyo wewe fanya vyo vyota ufanyeni vyo atakavyo vyowaambia unajua Yesu aliwaambia nini Yesu aliwaambia hebu leteni yale maji yalikuwa maji ya kuogesha wageni kwenye miguu wakaeta katika yale maji kulitoka divai nzuri kwa nini kwa sababu walifanya kile ambacho Yesu aliwaambia unajua kwa nini Petro alipata samaki siku ile alipovua usiku kucha asipate hata, hata samaki moja lakini kwa sababu ya kutii Yesu akamwambia tupa wavu hapo hapo Petro akashtuka mzee hapa tumevua usiku kucha tujapata hata samaki akamwambia tupa wavu hapo hapo alipotupa wavu alipata samaki kwa nini alipata samaki sababu alitii na akatupa wavu hakutazama jinsi gani alivyokosa samaki usiku kucha so this is how to save god when you are saving god you must obey to his word now ukiona neno la Mungu linasema kitu obey and they stay there Hijalishi matukio ijalishi nini obey ndio maana leo lazima tuongee swala la msingi ambalo linasema kila muamini halisi ana nguvu tele za uponyaji wa magonjwa yote all kind of sickness you are able you are the believer to pray and to cast out that devil. Kwa hiyo naanza basi. Nataka nianze na kuwaonyesha magonjwa yalitoka wapi. Sababu amuwezi mkaelewe hili vizuri, msipojua kama magonjwa yalitoka wapi. Niwaeleze magonjwa ni nini. Na magonjwa yalitokaje na yaliingiaje katika mwili wa mwanadamu. This is what will help you to understand what is disease and affliction. Haya mambo yametoka wapi? Baada ya we kuelewa haya mambo yametoka wapi? Utaelewa kazi aliyokuja kuifanya Yesu. Ukishaelewa pia na kazi aliyokuja kuifanya Yesu, utakuja gundua sisi wa Kristo hatuna haki ya kugonjwa. Sema amen. Kwa hiyo be very careful. Listen to me very carefully. Na ningeomba mshae video hii kwa wakristo wengine ili wajitambue kama wao ni nani. Unajua Biblia inasema taifa langu linaangamia kwa kutokujua. Hiyo ni kweli sana. Most of us Christian We are destroyed just because of lack of knowledge. Hatujui, hatujijui. All what we know is to go to the church, is to pay your tithes, to give your offering, to listen to a sermon, to go in the service and go back home. But hatujui mambo mengi sana hatuyajui. That's why I come to you today, my dear brothers and sisters Christian, that you should know who you are. You have the power. Are you a Christian? Yes I am. Okay. The power you have can create another world. Do you know the same power that was in Jesus Christ is the same power that is in you? Do you know that? Do you know the same spirit that was in Jesus is the same spirit that is in you? Do you know the same spirit that was in Moses? is the same spirit that is in you do you know the same spirit that was in elijah is the same spirit that is in you do you know the same spirit that created the earth and heaven is the same spirit that is in you do you see how great you are do you see how powerful you are do you see how strong you must be my god <laughs> hey tunaneema bwana we are very strong we are very powerful in the maana mapepo yanatuogopa ndo maana shetani mwenyewe anatetemeka this is why the devil can't fight with us he tries but finally we win because we are winners we are born for winning and we win through the blood of jesus christ that is how we are winners so my people that are able to pigalisha but they can't success because we have already won won simple pastor of them to win 
<laughs> we had horn uh, that is uh, present perfect sense uh, <laughs> Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. We have won since that day on Calvary Tree. Dio pale tulishindaga. Vita yote na tukamaliza. So when I say we have won the battle, is truth the blood of Jesus Christ, our winner. Our body is the temple of Holy Spirit. So we have the Holy Spirit in us. He is here inside me, inside you. You have that power. So, kwa nini unakimbia nyuma za watu? Mpaka wakuvue nguo. And you are a believer. So instead of believing God, you keep on believing people. How shall it help you? Yesu anakupenda wewe. Anakuitaji wewe. And he wants to have a personal relationship with you. You and Jesus to be one. My God. My Lord. My Jesus. Mimi maliza dakika kumi. na sijaanza. It's just a welcome wait. Ili kwa tu kuwakaribisha tu. Yaani hapa ndo sijaanza kabisa. Amen, 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 amen. Now let me start. Uh, magonjo yalitoka wapi? Haya magumu tulionayo matatizo. Ho oh, nagonjwa hiki. Ho oh, corona. Ho oh, kile. Ho oh, tatizo fulani yalitoka wapi? Na yalianza anza vipi? Sabu Mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu hakumba yote matatizo no 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 mm. Mungu akuumba magonjwa no no Wala Mungu hataki sisi tuishi katika tahabu shida na mizozo na magumu no God did not create all this apana If somebody tell you that uh, God is the one who is Willing us to be sick. No, that man is wrong. Mungu haja wai kamwe kupenda sisi tuwe katika shida na tabu. No. Mungu anatupenda sana. God is our father. And he is a good father. He loves us. Jesus loves me. Kone mbaga wimbo. I love Jesus cross. Cross. Where? My salvation is from I love this new day up up day day of my birthday <laughs> So Mungu akuumba magonjwa hapana Mungu akuumba matatizo hapana Mungu akuumba shida hapana Mungu aliumba vitu vizuri na alitaka tukae vizuri Anayeleta magonjwa shida magumu matatizo ni shetani ibilisi kupitia njia ya dhambi he is the one bringing all this kind of sickness ali eleta corona is the devil sio china <laughs> unaona unapopigana vita usipigane na mtoto pigana na baba au na mama mwenyewe unapotaka kungoa mtu singoe matawi ngoa mizizi unapotaka mtu aribike kabisa ngoa mizizi so the beginner of coronavirus It's not China. Let me tell you the truth. The beginner is not China. It's the devil. This plan has been made since by the devil himself. We are just only going through his plan. But we win because we are with Jesus Christ our Savior. And we know the power that we have in Jesus Christ is over the power of coronavirus. If everyone knew this, We could all go to Jesus Christ as our refuge. We could go there as our refugee village because when we are in Jesus Christ, we are healed. When we are in Jesus Christ, we have hope. When we are in Jesus Christ, we are saved. We are in a good place. Kwa hiyo matatizo yote haya magumu mwanzilishi shetani. Mungu alipomuumba mwanadamu hapakuwa na magonjwa. Now let's read. Tusome mimi na wewe katika kitabu cha mwanzo. Um, mwanzo sura ya kwanza. Sikiliza vizuri hapa. Mwanzo sura ya kwanza. Ehe, nifate vizuri. Mstari wa ishirini na sita. Sikiliza sasa. Inasema hivi. 
Mungu akasema na tumfanye mtu kwa mfano wetu wa sura yetu wakatawale samaki wa baharini na ndege wa angani na wanyama na nchi yote pia na kila chenye kutambaa kitambacho juu ya nchi Jesus akasema tuombe mtu kwa mfano wetu Mungu akaumba mtu kwa mfano wake kwa mfano wa Mungu alimuumba mwanamume na mwanamke aliwaumba Mungu akawabariki Mungu akawaambia zaheni mkaongezeke, mkaijaze enchi na kuitisha mkatawale samaki. Yaani Mungu alipoumba jamani ilikuwa ni baraka. God blesses us from the beginning. I'm the blessed. You are also the blessed. So we have been blessed by God from the beginning of the creation. Mungu akatubariki. Kwa hiyo sisi ni watu waliobarikiwa. Now when God bless you, maana yake umebarikiwa kweli kweli. Na baraka za Mungu haziambatani na kifu na magonjwa na laana na magumu na matatizo. No. Kwa hiyo Mungu aliputumba sisi alitubariki. Akatuweka kwa watu wake. Tukakaa vizuri katika usalama wake. Sema amen. Sema amen. Hakupa hapa kwa magonjwa. E, Adam, mwanadamu wa kwanza. Ndiye aliyeumbwa na Mungu na akawa na amani kabisa bila shida bila tatizo bila magumu na akaishi miaka Mungu akampa neno Adamu Adamu alikaa miaka mingi peke yake bila awa neno alilopewa na Mungu Adamu ndo katika kitabu cha mwanzo sura ya tatu. E, mstari wa kwanza Eh ah 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 wacha kwanza tuache hapo. Ehe, tuache kwanza hapo. Ni waeleze kwanza kidogo. Kabla sijasoma. Mungu akaumba mwanadamu wa kwanza, ndugu yetu Adamu. Baada ya Mungu kumba mwanadamu wa kwanza, ndugu yetu Adamu, baadaye Mungu akatoa ndani ya Adamu mke wake kama tunavyojua dada yetu Hawa. Hapakuwa magofu. Adamu hakuumwa miaka yote aliyofanya Awa kaja wakakana awa years and years. Mungu alikuwa anakuja anawapa neno anarudi. Anakuja anawapa neno anarudi. Unajua neno lilikuwaje neno lao? Mungu alikuwa amewapa neno la wakati ule. Ilikuwa hivi. Matunda yote ya miti yote waweza kula. Lakini tunda lililo katikati ya bustani usile. Yes, that was the way of their days. Kwa hiyo Mungu alipomuumba Alikuwa na amani na akampa neno. Mm. Sikiliza hapa. Mm. <laughs> e, Bwana Mungu akamfanya mtu kwa mavumbi ya ardhi. Akampulizia puani pumzi ya uwai. mtu akawa nafsi ai. Bwana Mungu akapanda bustani upande wa mashariki wa Edeni, akamweka ndani yake huyu mtu aliyemfanya. Mungu akaomba mtu. Bwana Mungu akachipusha katika ardhi kila mti unaotamanika kwa macho na kufaa kwa, kwa kuliwa na mti wa uzima katikati ya bustani na mti wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya. Sasa Mungu alipoumba hii bustani, alipofanya bustani, akaweka mwanadamu ndani. Mle ndani ya bustani mulikuwa miti mingi. Nifate vizuri hapa. Tofauti ya hiyo miti mingi kulikuwa tena miti ya pekee miwili. Ndio hii ambayo tumesoma hapa. Nataka uelewe magonjwa yalitoka wapi. Huku ndo mwanzo wa magonjwa ilikotoka. Bwana Mungu akachipusha katika ardhi kila mti unaotamanika kwa macho na kufaa kwa kuliwa. Na mti wa uzima katikati ya bustani na mti wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya. Sasa pale katikati ya bustani Mungu alichipusha miti mingi. Mungu alichipusha miti mingi. Alichipusha mti wa epo. Akatipusha mti wa mango mingi ya kula. Okay? Sasa pale katikati ya bustani akachipusha miti mingine hii miwili. Nifate hapa. Ujue zambi litoka wapi? Hiyo miti miwili mm, 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 mambo yanaanza hapa. <laughs> Palikuwa mti wa kujua mema na mabaya na mti wa uzima wa milele. Ndio miti hii Miwili. Mungu akambia mwanadamu hivi. Miti ingine yote ya bustani unaweza ukale matunda. Lakini hii miti 
yenye kuwa katikati ya bustani usile usile na siku yenye utakula hakika utakufa unasikia eh hey, njoo neno hilo kwa hiyo mimi Mungu nakwambia hivi ba, baba Adamu <laughs> miti yote waweza kula lakini hii iliyo katikati usile kwa hiyo Mungu akawapa hilo kama vile neno lao nao madamu walivyokaa katika hilo neno hawakupata shida madamu walieshimu hilo neno hawakupata tatizo madamu walipotii hilo neno hawakuwa na magumu na mtu yeyote walikuwa vizuri walikuwa fresh walikuwa poa walikuwa vizuri sana mopa yote pale kuna kitu sasa shida ilianza wapi listen very carefully shida ilianza adui alipokucha when the enemy comes ambaye si mwingine ni ibilisi shetani akaja akawapotosha kwenye neno Nifate vizuri hapo Mwanzo sura ya tatu. Basi nyoka alikuwa mwerevu kuliko wanyama wote wa mwituni aliyowafanya Bwana Mungu akamwambia mwanamke ati hivi ndivyo alivyosema Mungu msile matunda ya miti yote ya bustani Mwanamke akamwambia nyoka matunda ya miti ya bustani tuwaweza kula lakini matunda ya mtu ulio katikati ya bustani Mungu amesema msiale wala msiaguse msije mkafe kwa the condition was mnaweza mkali miti nyingine yote lakini hii yenye kuwa katikati msile msije mkafe nifata vizuri eh sababu unapoongea kifo maana unaongea magonjwa nyoka alipokuja akawatoa katika hilo neno this is what the devil always do the devil will always come and take you out from the word of god Alipowatoa tu kwenye hilo neno shida ikaanza Hapo ndipo shida ilipoanza Sema amen Mm Yaani siku hiyo ambayo shetani alikuja katika mwanzo sura ya tatu mstari wa kwanza akadanganya akawadanganya wakafanya dhambi Shida ikaingia kifo kikaingia magonjo yakaingia chuki zikaingia laana mikosi na balaa vikaingia uchawi ukaingia that was the beginning of everything my god zambi ilipoingia twende kwanza hapa mimi na wewe yohana 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 sura ya kumi yohana kumi kumi yohana kumi kumi shetani anapokuja Hakuji kwa kutengeneza mambo. Shetani anapokuja anakuja kufanya nini? Sikiliza hapo. Yohana 10:10. Mwivi aji il ahibe na kuchinja na kuharibu. Yesu anasema mimi nalikuja ili wawe na uzima kisha wawe nao tele. Lakini mwivi shetani anakuja ni kuharibu. Ila Yesu alikuja ili tuwe na uzima. Na tuwe na uzima tele. Sema amen. Ila shetani anakuja kuharibu. Kwa hiyo shetani alipoingia pale akaharibu kila kitu. And this was the beginning of everything that we see today that is wrong. Hapo wakakosea neno, wakaingia katika shida. Walipoingia katika shida, mauti ikaingia Kaini akaua ndugu yake. Mizozo wakaanza kukimbia, wakaanza jiona wako uchi, zambi kaingia, magumu yakaingia. Matatizo yote tunayoyaona leo yote yameanza siku hiyo. Sema amen. Tukapoteza kitu kikubwa sisi wanadamu siku hiyo. Listen very carefully. Tukapoteza hati miliki yetu tuliyopewa na Mungu. Na cha ajabu sasa tangu siku hiyo Mungu akaenda akaweka makerubi katika ule mti wa uzima wa milele ili kwamba tusile katika yale matunda. Hapa ndo utaelewa kwa nini Yesu Kristo alikuja. 
Because if Jesus Christ could not come, na kusema mimi ni njia ya uzima. My God. <laughs> Aya ni mambo mazito sana. Ile njia ambayo Mungu aliweka makerubi sisi tusifikie. Yesu akaja. Akasema mimi ni njia ya uzima. Mtu haji kwa baba ila kwangu mimi. Sema amen. So Jesus came to us to prove to the world that he is the way of truth. If you want to go to God, you must pass by him. Only Jesus. No one else. Only Jesus is God. Sasa ile njia iliyowekwa makerubi Mungu akatushushia nayo. Hiyo siku tukapoteza uhusiano wetu sisi na Mungu. Hiyo siku wanawake wakapoteza mamlaka waliokuwa nayo. Hiyo siku mwanamke akaanza za kwa uchungu. Mwanamke asingezaa kwa uchungu kama leo. The plan of God was not like that. She could just give birth as normal. But today do you see what is happening? Uliza mke wako when she goes to hospital for giving birth. Anapitia magumu ya chabu. Shida. Yote alianza hiyo siku. Hiyo hiyo siku. Hiyo siku ndo kuliingia magumu. Udongo ukawa mbaya. Kwa kula mpaka hivi. Yote alianza hiyo siku. Siku mbaya sana. Mwanadamu na Mungu wakatengana. Sasa mwanadamu alipotengana na Mungu, shetani naye akayuse the same opportunity to take the control of human being. So shetani akaanza kutuburuza katika matope yake. Nani hapo magumu yalianza? Nani hapo magomvi yalianza? Tukapoteza miliki yetu zidi ya wanyama. Uwezi kwenda kumiliki simba ovyo ovyo leo. You must pass by so much strategies for you to have authority on a lion. Lakini zamani Mbona Adam angita tu lion, eh hey, lion come come here. Na lion anakuja, na wanaongea. Adam angita tu mti, eh hey, you three come here. Na mti unakuja, na wanaongea. Angeita tu eh, 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 nyama yoyote ile. Lakini from that day we lost everything. And that is the beginning of all disease, of all sickness. Na mwanadamu akapoteza uhusiano wake na Mungu. Now listen. Do you now understand where all this began? Bwana Mungu because he is a father. Because he loves us. Angeli angeli kubali aendelee kutuona sisi tunapotea. Hapana. Bwana kwa huruma zake na upendo wake kwetu na kwa nehema na rehema zake akatutumia Adamu wa pili. My God. Akasema Adamu wa kwanza ameshindwa. Adamu wa kwanza nimempa neno. Amen. Usile. Adamu wa kwanza nimemwambia kula ya mingine lakini hili usile. Adamu wa kwanza ameshindwa. Nitafanyaje mimi Mungu? Hata niwatumie Adamu wa pili. Na huyo Adamu wa pili si mwingine, ni mimi mwenyewe nitaka ikwenda. Tusome kwanza Adamu wa pili hapa. Yohana 3:16. Kiliza hapa. Kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu hata akamtoa mwana wa pekee ili kila mtu amwamini asipotee bali awe na uzima wa milele. Because from that day we lost. Sababu njia ya kwenda kwenye mti wa uzima kuliwekwa makerubi. So we couldn't go there. Do you hear me? Ndio maana watu waliokufa katika gano la kale walienda kuzimu. Hata kama waliishi maisha ya utakatifu but after their death they went to hell why because they had not eternal life everlasting life sababu nje ilikuwa imefungwa sasa kwa sisi kupata uzima inabidi ile nje ifunguliwe wale makerubi waondoshwe pale na njia pekee ya kuondoa makerubi ni yeye mwenyewe mzee wa kazi aje do you hear me napendwa nifuate vizuri hapo ili uelewe kwamba Mkristo ana nguvu zidi ya mapepo yote. Listen very carefully. Lengo na shabaha ya kuja kwa Yesu Kristo katika dunia hii. Ni nini? Explain. Listen very carefully. Yesu 
Sasa Yesu ni nani? Ndio swali la kwanza hili. Who is Jesus Christ? Listen. Yesu ni Mungu aliyejishusha. Listen to my reply, listen to my answer of who is Jesus Christ. Yesu ni Mungu aliyejishusha ili kumkomboa mwanadamu mtu wake aliyepotea. Yaani katika lugha nyingine Yesu ni madhirisho ya upendo na neema ya Mungu kwetu sisi wanadamu. Yaani Yesu ni madhirisho ya upendo wa Mungu kwetu. The way of God to tell us that I love you is to send us his only begotten son. Embu embu, embu tusome kwanza hapa. Well, usikie vizuri hapa katika wa Filipi 2 eh uh, wa Filipi 2 mstari wa sita. Sikiliza vizuri hapa. For you to understand who is Jesus Christ. Mbili, sita. Na so. Listen, listen, listen to me. Eh sikiliza hapa. Naanza hapa kutano. Iweni na nia hiyo hiyo ndani yenu ambayo ilikuwa pia ndani ya Kristo Yesu. Ambaye yeye Kristo Yesu Mwanzo alikuwa yuna namna ya Mungu naye hakuona kulikuwa sawa na Mungu 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 kwa capital letter we have only one Mungu in capital letter that is the creator of earth and heaven his name is Jehovah Jireh his name is Jehovah Rafa his name is Jehovah Chekinu his name is Yahweh his name is Adonai his name is El Shaddai his name of new testament is Lord Jesus Christ. Mama mama mama. This is the name of salvation of God. Na kitu chochote tukifanyacho sisi tunakifanya katika jina la nani? Kama ni kama ni kuomba tunaomba kwa jina la nani? Kama ni kufukuza mapepo tunafukuza mapepo kwa jina la nani? Kama ni kuhubiri hivi tunahubiri kwa jina la nani? Kama ni kubatiza tunabatiza kwa jina la nani? Now listen, listen, listen. Let me come back here. Ambaye yeye mwanzo alikuwa yuna namna ya Mungu. Kumbuka Mungu ni mmoja. Naye hakuona kule ka, kule kuwa sawa na Mungu. Hakuna mtu mwingine iko sawa na Mungu. Hakuna mtu iko sawa na Mungu kifupi. Aliye sawa na Mungu ni Mungu peke yake. <laughs> Aliye sawa na Mungu ni Mungu peke yake. Now listen here ambaye yeye mwanzo alikuwa yuna damna ya Mungu naye hakuona kule kuwa sawa na Mungu kuwa ni kitu cha kushikamana nacho bali alijifanya kuwa hana utukufu akatoa namna ya mtumwa akawa ana mfano wa mwanadamu tena alipoonekana ana umbo kama mwanadamu alijinyenyekeza akawa aka, akawa mtii hata mauti nam mauti ya msalaba yes akajinyenyekeza akatia hata mauti mauti ya msalaba sasa so, mauti ya msalaba ndio mauti ya aibu sana bora mauti ya risasi kuliko mauti ya msalaba now do you see this is the one we call Jesus Christ twende katika Timotheo wa kwanza Timotheo wa kwanza Timotheo first Timothy sura ya tatu. mstari wa 16 sikiliza hapa inasema hivi na bila shaka siri ya utaua ni kuu. Mungu alidhihirishwa katika mwili, akajulikana kuwa na haki katika roho, akaonekana na malaika, akahubiriwa katika Mungu bila shaka si, siri ya utaua ni kuu. Mungu alidhihirishwa katika mwili, akajulikana kuwa na haki katika roho, akaonekana na malaika, akahubiriwa katika mataifa, akaaminiwa katika ulimwengu, akachukuliwa juu katika utukufu. Mungu My God Who is this Jesus Christ So the one who holds on cross that day at Calvary he is God Now why God comes himself He comes himself because he loves us We are his creation na asinge kubali aone sisi tukiangamia tukikatishwa uhusiano na yeye tukiharibiwa na mvu shetani wakati sisi ni maumbili yake ndio maana aliamua aje yeye mwenyewe lengo ni nini 
<laughs> my Jesus Christ naona mambo ni mengi sana leo naona mambo yanaanza kuja kichwani kichwani unajua mimi shida yangu mambo yanaanza kuja kichwani ni kuikiri nalo linakuja naongea ili ili nalo linakuja naongea ili ili nalo linakuja ndio yanakuwa mengi kiasi sasa yanakuwa mengi hivi sasa inaomba paka tena ni yapangi umumu kichwani hebu tusome basi kwanza hapa katika Yohana wa kwanza sura ya tano. mstari wa 18 tuanzie hapo Yohana wa kwanza sura ya tano mstari wa 18 Sikiliza haya, nimesema haya ni mambo ya msingi. Tunajua ya kuwa kila mtu aliyezaliwa na Mungu hatendi dhambi. Kila mtu aliyezaliwa na Mungu hatendi dhambi. Neno nzito hilo eh? Unajua dhambi ni nini? Kama ungejua dhambi ni nini ungekubali kila mtu aliyezaliwa na Mungu hatendi dhambi. <laughs> Bali yeye aliyezaliwa na Mungu hujilinda wala yule mwovu hamgusi. 19. Sikiliza. Verse ya 19 mstari wa tano Yohana wa kwanza naingia vesi ya 19 kumi na kenda Kiswahili cha Kongo Tojua ya kuwa sisi tu wa Mungu na dunia yote pia ukaa katika yule mwovu Vesi ya makumi mbili ishirini Kiswahili ya Tanzania Kongo makumi mbili Sikiliza hii vesi sasa Tojua ya kuwa sisi tu wa mu, eh, nasi tojua kwamba mwana wa Mungu amekwisha kuja Tuwajua ya kwamba mwana wa Mungu amekwisha kuja naye ametupa akili mwana wa Mungu ametupa akili kwamba tumjue yeye aliye wa kweli yeye aliye wa kweli nasi tumo ndani yake yeye wa kweli yani ndani ya mwana wake Yesu Kristo huyu ndiye Mungu wa kweli na uzima wa milele my god <laughs> So nani aliyekuja kutufia? Ndio maana damu ya Yesu ni yenye samani. Damu ya Yesu sio damu ya Mjahudi. Ah ah. Yesu hakuwa Mjahudi. Utasemaje alikuwa Mjahudi bwana? Na mtoto ni wa baba. Mtoto kimaandiko ni mbegu ya baba ndio inafanya mtoto. Sasa baba yake Yesu sio Mjahudi, sasa yatakuwaje? Mbegu iliyobebesha mimba ya Yesu ni mbegu kutoka mbinguni. Kwa hiyo Yesu ni Mungu. Alitufia pale msalabani ni Mungu mwenyewe akaja kwetu akajifanya kama adabu wa pili kwa lengo la kutukomboa sisi. Wakorinto wa kwanza 15:22. Nifuate. Naelekea hivi. 15:22 inasema hivi. Kwa kuwa kama katika Adamu wote wanakufa kadhalika na katika Kristo wote watauishwa. Amen. Kadhalika na katika Kristo wote wata wote watauishwa. Kwa hiyo sote tulikufa katika Adamu wa kwanza. Sote tulitenda zambi katika Adamu wa kwanza. Sote tulianguka katika Adamu wa kwanza. Mungu akaona hapana siwezi ruhusu mwanangu aharibike hivi. Akatutumia msaada. Msaada ukatumwa kupitia yeye yeye Mungu kwa njia ya mwanawe Yesu Kristo. My Jesus. Warumi 5:12. Sikiliza hapa. Kwa hiyo kama kwa mtu mmoja dhambi iliingia ulimwenguni na kwa dhambi hiyo mauti na hivyo mauti ikawafikia watu wote kwa sababu wote wamefanya dhambi. Hivyo ndivyo Kristo alivyofanya dhambi. Hivyo ndivyo Kristo alivyokosea. Ye Mungu akaja mwenyewe sasa. God himself came to us in the way of Jesus Christ. Lengo ni moja tu. Aturudishie mamlaka yetu tuliyokuwa nayo pale katika shamba la Edeni. Lengo ni moja tu. Aturudishie uweza tuliyokuwa nao pale na tupate access ya kuingia katika ule mti wa uzima. Unaelewa sasa kama mti wa uzima ni nani hapo? Mti wa uzima si ni Yesu Kristo. Yeye ndiye aliyesema mimi ndiye mti wa uzima. Na matunda yake tunayajua, matunda ya Yesu, so unayajua? Upendo. Si ndio matunda ya uzima. Kwa matunda yao mtawatambua. Unafikiri matunda ni unafikiri ni epo? Na ule mti wa kujua mema na mabaya si ndio shetani? Na matunda yake si mnayajua. Uzinzi, uchawi nini? na na ada hawa na nyoka wakala tunda la, la ule mtu akujua mema na mabaya wakala tunda la uzinzi si mnajua hilo okay na wakafunga ule mti wa uzimu wa milele sasa ikabidi Mungu aje aftoe wale makerubi wawili ili tupate access 
baada ya sisi kuanguka na hiyo ndiyo lengo kubwa ya kuja kwa Yesu sema amen mhm ili tuti ili tuishi vizuri aha Ye, Yesu akaja ili aturudishe tende kwanza hiyo tano tano kumi na nane basi tena kama kwa kosa moja watu wote walihukumiwa adhabu kadhalika kwa tendo moja la haki watu wote waliehesabiwa haki yenye uzima kupitia nani kupitia Jesus Christ amen amen now kama vile mwanadamu wa kwanza alivyoishi salama bila shida maadamu alipotii neno la Mungu na baadaye tu ya kulikataa mauti yakaingia mauti ikaja na kifo vivyo hivyo na sisi leo tukitii neno la Mungu mauti haipo pamoja nasi na tusipotii basi mauti itambatana nasi mshahara wa dhambi ni mauti ina maana nini kifupi sasa ina maana magonjwa chanzo cha magonjwa ni dhambi magonjwa yanatokana na sababu biblia inasema katika kitabu cha warumi 6:23 mshahara wa dhambi ni mauti kwa hiyo Yesu akaja aondoe ile dhambi tuliyokuwa nayo sisi kama wanadamu ambayo ilituletea mauti aitoe kwenye mgongo wetu lazima muelewe haya mambo ya msingi wa Kristo wenzangu Ujue Yesu alikuja kufia wewe, Yesu hakuja kukufia wewe ili tena uwe uwe uende uvuliwe nguo kanisani hapana. Na when Jesus came, akaturudishia uzima wa milele. When Jesus came, akaturudishia madaraka tuliyokuwa nayo katika shamba la Edeni. So lengo la kuja kwa Yesu ni kuturudishia uzima ambao tulikuwa tumepoteza, ambao tulinyimwa na shetani. Unanipata vizuri. Lengo la Yesu kuja ni kurudisha uhusiano mzuri kati ya mwanadamu na muumba wake. Na ndio maana Yesu alikubali kuja kufa kwa sababu ya kuondoa ile dhambi tuliyofanya pale. Ina maana kifu cha Yesu ni ukombozi tosha kwetu sisi. Magonjwa. Yanaambatana na dhambi. Baba wa magonjwa ni dhambi. Let me explain you something here. Bila dhambi hakuna magonjwa. Inakuwaje sasa magonjwa inaambatana na dhambi? Iko hivi. Magonjwa yote ni mapepo. All sickness, magonjwa yote ni mapepo kutoka kuzimu. Yaani pepo linakuja lina create kingine kaselili ndani yako na inakaa ndani ya kale kaselili kwa ku destroy kwa hiyo mapepo miliki ya kimwili mapepo miliki ya kiroho yote ni magonjwa magonjwa katika miliki ya kimwili magonjwa katika miliki ya kiroho yote ni mapepo this is how things are usifikiri kwamba magonjwa yanatoka hivi tu ah ah magonjwa yanasababishiwa na mapepo Wachawi wanaweza wakakutupia magonjwa. Mapepo tu wanaweza kukumbana nao hata barabarani na yanakutupia magonjwa. Kwa hiyo magonjwa yote yanaletwa na shetani na yote ni mapepo. Sema amen. Unaelewa magonjwa ni nini eh? Kwa hiyo magonjwa ni mapepo na mapepo yanapata access katika maisha yako kupitia dhambi. Sasa sijamaanisha kwamba kila naye gonjwa maana yake ni mfanya zambi. Ah ah sijamaanisha hilo. Sababu pia Mungu anaweza akaruhusu wewe ugonjwa kwa ajili ya lengo shabaha fulani kama alivyo ruhusu kwa Yobu. Si mnajua hivyo. Kwa hiyo Mungu anaweza akaruhusu wewe upitie katika shida kwa lengo la kumtukuza yeye Mungu. Hiyo pia inawezekana. Na kuna magonjwa mengine ni ya urithi ambayo babu wa babu yako aliyagonjwa tu unaweza ukayagonjwa wewe. Kwa lazima tuelewe vizuri magonjwa. Sasa haya magonjwa ambayo ni Mungu ametaka wewe ugonjwa ili akutest. Hata tukombe jinsi gani hayo hayatokaji. 
Na yule unaona Mkristo anagonjwa, Mkristo anagonjwa analia sijui ende wapi. Maybe God is testing you. Wewe kaa hivyo tu. <laughs> Lakini kama ni ya mapepo, tutakemea kidogo na inaondoka. So you need to understand all of this. Well, all the sickness are from the devil. Na zinapata access kwetu wakati sisi tuko katika dhambi. Sema amen. Sababu gani? Sababu mshara wa dhambi ni mauti. Mauti ndo kifo. Kifo maana yake magonjwa. Sababu ma- kifo kinaletwa na magonjwa. Kwa hiyo mshara wa dhambi ni magonjwa. Hivyo ndivyo kisi magonjwa yanavyokuja. Umeelewa vizuri? Unanipata vizuri? Sasa unapomwamini Yesu Unasamehewa dhambi. Nataka muelewe hapa. Kupitia damu ya Yesu Kristo pale Kalvari. Unapokubali Yesu Kristo kuwa Bwana na Mwokozi wako, kikamilifu. Zambi yako inasamehewa, zambi zote ulizozifanya zinasamehewa. From that day, unasamehewa dhambi zako kwa taarifa yako hata utakazozifanya zimesamehewa Hapo sasa utastuka Yes is true Hata utakazozifanya zimeshasamehewa Kilichopo tu ni wewe ukubali kisha utamke Mungu ni samehe Full stop Na ufuate utaratibu wa kutengeneza hiyo zambi lakini Mungu ameshaisamehe Believe me Mungu ameshaisamea ila wewe na wewe lazima ukubali kama ulikosea na ufuate utaratibu kwa kuomba msamaha kwa hiyo dhambi na sababu ya kuomba msamaha kwa kila dhambi tutaongeaga wakati mwingine ili ujue jinsi gani ya kutubu dhambi kwa kupigwa kwa Yesu pale Kalvari sisi tumepona so kwa vile kisi magonjwa yanaambatana na dhambi uwezi ukahubiri mtu alafu ukose kuponya magonjwa alionayo haiwezekani Injili ni ukombozi wa roho na kuponya magonjwa. Hivi ndivyo injili inahubiri waka miaka yote. Yaani uweze nita kwa wapagani ukahubiri injili tu ya mdomo. Hapana. Injili ya mdomo Yesu hakuhubiri hivyo. Yesu alihubiri maneno na huko anaambatana na uponyaji wa kiungo. Unanielewa vizuri eh? Kwa hiyo Injili yoyote ile ina, kwa nini inaambatana na uponyaji sababu magonjwa yanaletwa na dhambi na injili inakuja kubomoa ile dhambi kwa hiyo ile dhambi inapobomolewa mapepo yanaondoka huku mwili wako unapona ndio maana kila injili lazima iambatane na uponyaji na nielewa vizuri na ndio hii tulionayo na ndio hii ambayo wewe umeamini sasa tulisamewa dhambi kwa damu ya Yesu pale Kalvari sisi tumesamewa dhambi zote Petro wa pili 2:24 Wakolosai 2:14 Hebu tusome basi kwanza hata Wakolosai Wakolosai 2:14 hmm. Wakolosai Hallelujah Oh my God my God Wakolosai 2:14 sikiliza hapa Inasema hivi akisha kuifata ile ha ile hati iliyoandikwa ya kutushtaki kwa hukumu zake iliyokuwa na uadui kwetu akaiondoa isiwepo tena akaigongomea msalabani ile hati ile si niliwaambia kwamba tulipoteza hati milki tulipofanya lile tendo mbaya ile siku ilikuwa siku mbaya ile siku pale edeni ambao tulianguka mama yetu akatuangusha sote mama akatuangusha mama <laughs> wa mama wana wa mama wana nyinyi wa mama nyinyi mnatuangushaka nyinyi eh mama akatuangusha siku ile sote brr chini sasa mama mama, mama akisha kuangusha utakwenda wapi tena sasa tukapoteza hatimiliki Yesu akaja kupitia msalaba siku ile akagomboa ile hatimiliki sasa akaja akatupa hiyo sisi. Unaweza tena unawezaje tena wewe ukakose nguvu? Kwa hiyo unapomwamini Yesu, my Jesus Christ, 
ya 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 hebu tusome kwanza katika Yohana nane hamsini na moja Yohana 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 nane Yohana nane hamsini na moja inasema hivi sikiliza kwanza hapo Amin amin ninawaambia mtu akishika neno langu hata hona mauti milele This is Jesus the one is speaking Yaani Yesu alikuja na neno la uzima Yesu yeye mwenyewe alikuja ni uzima akaja akakomboa ile hatimiliki baadaye akaja akatupa sisi ile hatimiliki Sasa ukitaka uishi mbali na shetani Shida ni moja tu wewe ti hili neno la huyu mzee follow stop kama vile Adamu na Hawa wa kwanza katika shamba la Edeni walikaa miaka bila kugonjwa walipokuwa katika neno na sisi leo kwa neno la huyu mwanaume wa Galilaya ambaye alikuja akakubali kufa kwa ajili ya zambi zetu na magonjwa yanaambatana na dhambi na Yesu amekuja akasamea dhambi zetu. Ina maana moja kwa moja pia tumepona magonjwa yetu. Mnaelewa vizuri hapo? Mnaelewa vizuri hiyo logic? Yaani Yesu amekuja kuponya dhambi. Magonjwa yako ndani ya dhambi. Yesu amekuja kuponya hiyo dhambi ambayo inabeba magonjwa ndani yake. Kwa hiyo Yesu anapoponya hayo magonjwa, moja kwa moja anaponya na dhambi Anapoponya hiyo dhambi moja kwa moja anaponya na magonjwa sababu vyote viwili vinabebana. Kwa hiyo kazi aliyofanya Yesu pale msalabani ilikuwa kuponya dhambi na moja kwa moja na magonjwa sababu magonjwa yako ndani ya dhambi. Hivi mnaelewa? Tusome kwanza Petro wa pili mbili ishirini na nne kabla sijaenda mbali. Petro wa pili, Petro, Petro, Petro. Huko wapi Petro wa pili? Ndio huyu hapa. Mbili, ishirini na ishirini na Petro wa pili mbili kumi na nne kumrasi soma hapo wenye macho ya hayo uzinzi watu wasiokoma kutenda dhambi wenye kuandaa rozi sizo imara wenye mioyo izo i, i, iliyozohezwa kutamani wana walaana wakiacha njia iliyo nyoka wakapotei wakifuata njia ya balaamu mwana wa behori aliyependa ujira wa udhalimu hawa ndo watu wa magonjwa sababu hawa hawakubali neno do you hear me very well hivi 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 mna mnanisikiliza jamani mmeelewa hapa jinsi gani magonjwa yetu yote yaliponywa tangu siku ile pale kalvari yani yalipona yote pale pale Magonjwa yote about to miss magonjwa yote yalipona tangu siku ile. Iwe corona ilipona tangu siku ile. Sababu hayo yote yanalala ndani ya dhambi. Na Yesu amekuja akaponya dhambi. Ina maana moja kwa moja ameponya na magonjwa yote. Ndio maana Biblia inasema kwa kupigwa kwa Yesu sisi tume tumepona. Tumepona magonjwa ya roho na magonjwa ya mwili. This is how we have been healed. Sasa kazi ulionayo wewe mimi huyo yule na wao kazi tulio nayo ni kutii sasa yale maneno ya Yesu sasa unapotii yale ambayo Yesu alisema moja kwa moja uko katika umbrella iko juu yako hivi shetani hawezi akakufikie Unapotii na kuishi yale ambayo Yesu alisema, moja kwa moja huko chini ya ulinzi, uko in the camp of Holy Spirit. Because that portion Jesus gave it to us and that portion is Holy Spirit. Now when you take his word and you live according to what he says, you have everlasting life in you. Yohana 5:24. Nataka kwanza tusome hapo. Sikiliza. Yohana tano. Mm. My God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Yohana tano, 24. Inasema hivi sikiliza vizuri. Amin amin nawaambia yeye alisikiaye neno langu na kumwamini yeye aliyenipeleka yuna uzima wa milele wala haingii hukumuni bali amepita kutoka mautini kuingia uzimani. Yeye asikiaye maneno yangu. 
Now the job we have to do today is kusikiliza maneno ya Yesu. This is why we have a Bible. It's because tunahaji ya kusikiliza maneno ya Yesu. Sabu ndani ya maneno ya Yesu, unalala uzima. Unalala uponyaji. Ivo nafikiri damu ya Yesu ni nini? Damu ya Yesu, kila siku munasema damu ya Yesu, mwoni nilishaga kauka. Damu ya Yesu ilikauka gatangu siku ile, yani badu ipu tu. Damu ya Yesu siki ngini sini hili hili neno lake. Njoo damu ya Yesu. Yohana sita rubaini. Embu tusome yapa. Yohana sita na kwa rubaini. Tukikaa katika maneno yake Yesu. Hakuna ah, utamu kama u. I'm feeling very good. Mm, 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 mm. Sikiliza hapa, sikiliza hapa. Kwa kuwa mapenzi yake baba yangu ni haya ya kwamba kila amtazamaye mwana na kumwamini yeye awe na uzima wa milele nami nitamfufua siku ya mwisho That is what we have to do And this is what God wants ndo mapenzi ya Mungu kwamba tuamini Yesu tupate uzima wa milele Niangalie kwa So I finish every step I'm trying to prove to you by the Bible that we have been healed since that day at Calvary 3. I love Jesus cross, cross where my salvation is from. I love that day, that new day, day of my new birth. Jesus cross. Palem Salaban is the day we have been healed spiritually and physically unanipata vizuri kwa sasa ili kwamba sasa udumu katika uponyaji wako unadumu sasa katika maneno mnaelewa vizuri jamani mhm hapa kuna verse kaza wa kaza ambazo tutasoma hebu nataka nataka tuzisome hizi verse twende yohana 14 na mstari wa 20 inasema hivi nisikilize vizuri Siku ile ninyi mtatambua ya kuwa mimi ni ndani ya baba yangu nanyi ndani yangu nami ndani yenu Now what happens here Yaani hili neno kilifata vizuri hili Aya you will know who you are Yesu tangu siku ile ya Kalvari alipokufa akaja akakaa ndani ya kila Mkristo This is what I call Holy Spirit. Rom takatifu means God in a human being. Ro, Holy Spirit means God in you. The Spirit of God in you. God working in you. This is what we call Holy Spirit. Now, that's the ones who hear his words and obey to his word. Jesus himself comes and dwells in that person. Do you see now how powerful you are? Ndio maana somo letu ni kila muamini halisi ana nguvu tele za uponyaji wa magonjwa yote. Now they don't teach you this because they want you to depend on those fake prophets. Ndio maana they don't give you this word. But the only matter is you to believe in the word of God. Na ukishamini hilo neno. Unatii hilo neno. Unaishi accordingly unatembea accordingly Jesus Christ himself anakuja anakaa ndani yako now when a god is in you it's no more you the you you know you is not you now it's god in you now when a god is in you the eternal life is in you the sickness can't be there no You become a god. And even if you get sick one day, but as long as you know who you are, you know you have the healing in you. Simanishi kwamba hautagonjwa homa. Simanishi kwamba hautaenda hospitalini. Simanishi kwamba hautaumwa. Unaweza ukaumwe. Lakini sasa ujue kwamba wewe una nguvu za uponyaji wa hayo unayohumwa. Na unaweza ukajiponya hayo unayohumwa kwa imani kuamini Mungu uliye ndani yako. Unaelewa vizuri? Kwa Mungu uliye naye wewe, sababu wewe si umeamini, umetii neno na Yesu anakaa ndani yako. You have the power of healing. Yohana 
mstari wa 4 sikiliza hapo kaeni ndani yangu nami ndani yenu kama vile tawi lisivyoweza kuzaa peke yake lisipokaa ndani ya mzabibu kadhalika nanyi msipokaa ndani yangu hey amwezi kuzaa si ndio maana yake kwa hiyo Jesus is in us and we are in Jesus Unaona sasa ni watu gani? Do you see who we are now? Do you understand which power do we have? So God is in us and we are in God. Us and God we become one. Now you are a God working on earth. Mama 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 mama. <laughs> you become a small god. You become a small god because God is in you. Yohana 15 mstari wa 7 Kuna mambo ya ajabu sana jamani kama tungejua sisi ni wanani Haya na waamuru ninyi mpate kupendana Mmm nasema Yohana Yohana 15 mstari wa 7 Ninyi mkikaa ndani yangu sikiliza Yesu hapo listen 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 Ninyi mkikaa ndani yangu na maneno yangu ya kikaa ndani yenu. Ombeni mtakalo lote nanyi mtatendewa. This ndio mara ya kwanza Mungu anaambia wanadamu ombeni lolote mtakalo. This is the first time. Tangu dunia iumbe dunia. Ndio mara ya kwanza katika kitabu cha Yohana tano saba God speaks Yohana tano saba Mungu anaambia wanadamu ombeni lolote. Lolote. My Jesus. Lolote. <laughs> Nilikuwa kanisani mwanzo nikamwambia wangapi hapa waisha wai kuomba Mungu awape ndege? Hata mmoja. Nikamwambia sasa nyinyi mmeambiliwa lolote. Hivi wangapi hapa wana wanapenda ndege? Watu wakaindua vilikuwa. Mimi napenda ndege. Hey, sasa si mzee amewambia lolote. Sasa kama mwenye mali amewambia lolote, hebu just imagine uko kwenye kampuni alafu mwenye kampuni anakuambia omba lolote mtakupa utakosaje kuomba gari 20 za ohoho zile truck za hoho 20 waandishe kampuni ya usafirishaji wa mizigo <laughs> but under one condition under one condition ninyi mkikaa ndani yangu yani the condition first you have you you have to be in god unasikia Yani you have to be in Jesus. Then the word of Jesus in you. Pray now. Unaelewa vizuri? Ndio maana niliwaambia hivi tuta inabidi muelewe maana ya kuomba katika jina la Yesu. Kuomba katika jina la Yesu is not only matter of sound. It's a matter of a place. You must be in Jesus. Hallelujah. You must dwell there. You must stay there in Jesus. You sit there in Jesus. So when you pray, you pray in the name of Jesus because you are in Jesus. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. So you are in Jesus. You pray in the name of Jesus because you are in Jesus. So when you are in Jesus and the word of Jesus in you Because the word of Jesus is again the same Jesus. Omba lolote upendalo. Omba lolote. <laughs> warumi tusome kwanza Warumi 8:9. Warumi 8:9 inasema hivi. Lakini ikiwa roho wa Mungu anakaa ndani yenu ninyi amuifuati mwili bali mwaifuata roho lakini mtu awaye yote asipokuwa na roho wa Kristo huyo si wake Yale maneno ya Mungu ndani yako ndiye Mungu ndani yako Ndiyo Yesu ndani yako Sasa ukambiliwa uombe lolote Sasa kama unaumwa kichwa na mu, na wewe uko ndani ya Yesu na maneno ya Yesu yako ndani yako na Mungu Yesu asema omba lolote na unaumwa kichwa. Unaona kama unaweza kuomba kichwa na kichwa kinapona. Do you see now? Unaona wapi sababu ya tetu imetoka? Kila muamini halisi ana nguvu tele za uponyaji wa magonjwa yote. Ndio uko somo subject imetoka. 
And that is what we call divine healing. The divine healing is in you. <laughs> so you don't have to go to fall somebody somewhere. No. Believe who you are. Believe what you are and believe where you are. In whom you are. Wewe huko ndani ya Yesu. Maneno ya Yesu yako ndani yako. Unaambiliwa uombe chochote na unasikia tumbo kuhuma. Unless sasa uwe huko ndani ya Yesu. Au unless maneno ya Yesu yawa yako ndani yako. Lakini kama maneno ya Yesu yako ndani yako na wewe huko ndani ya Yesu na unasikia kichwa kuhuma. Why don't you pray? And tell God I want my headache to finish right now. You command that headache to go away from you. You say you headache. I command you to leave my body. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why do you say in the name of Jesus? Because you are in Jesus. Abutu. Mambo ya msingi ayo. So do you see now what we are when we have the Holy Spirit? Wakorintu wakwanza tatu kumina sita. Twende. Hmm. Ah 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 wa Korinto wa kwanza tatu 16 sikiliza sasa hapa vizuri sikiliza hapa sikiliza hapa Hamjui ya kuwa ninyi mmekuwa hekalu la Mungu na ya kuwa roho wa Mungu anakaa ndani yenu Do you know what do you see now what we are Yani Jesus is in us and how can you tell me that Jesus is in you Jesus the creator of earth and heaven is in you Jesus, the Alpha and Omega, is in you. Jesus, who is more important than your president, is in you. Not only is with you, but is in you. How do you see that? The one who created me is in you. How can't you create me? You can create another language there. <laughs> I'm feeling the anointing now. I start feeling something strong on my when you mikolo yang, I'm feeling like electric power going through for you. Now listen. If God is in you, the creator of earth and heaven, the great I am, the creator and created, the Alpha and Omega, the big, the great, the Yahweh, the all in all. That Jesus, that God, the one we are worshiping every day. Is it new? Hey, you are a special human being, you. You are not like everyone. You are a special guy. Now, when I started to stop with Corona, and Jesus is in you. Now, when I cost money because of Corona, and Jesus is in you. How is that possible? Amen, amen. Sikiliza apa wakorinto wakwanza sita kumi na tisa. Sita kumi na tisa. Mm. Inasema hivi Au hamjui kuwa yeye aliye ungwa Sita kuminatisa Au hamjui ya kuwa mwili wenu Ni yekalu la rom takatifu aliye ndani yenu Mliye pewa na mungu Wala ninyi si mali yenu wenyewe Maana mlinunuliwa kakwa thamani Kwa thamani Tulinunuliwa kwa thamani Sasa basi mtukuzeni mungu katika mili yenu God is with us. God is in us. Kwa hiyo, huyo roo wa mungu anapo kaa ndani yako. Yani uzima wa mungu uko ndani yako. Mauti hayapo ndani yako. Una uzima wa milele ndani yako. Utaanza sasa kudhirisha uzima ulio ndani yako. Madhirisho ni kwamba utaombea wagonjo na wagonjo watapona. Mm. Kinacho ponyesha si wewe ni uzima wa Yesu ulio ndani yako ni imani yako kwa neno ni roho wa Mungu aliye ndani yako Sasa huo uzima ndani yako ili uponyeshe lazima mgonjwa naye awe na imani hata chembe ndogo na wewe mwenyewe ambaye Yesu yuko ndani yako una imani Oh 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 so when you believe this word of God and Jesus is in you huyu ndo anaitwa mkristo halisi huyu ndo anaitwa muamini halisi muamini halisi ni yule anayeamini neno na yuko ndani ya Yesu na Yesu yuko ndani yake 
Yaani ni Yesu awe ndani yako na wewe uwe ndani ya Yesu. Ni mmoja ndani ya mwingine. Huyo ndiye muamini e, na huyo ndo wewe. Si wewe ni muamini. Are you a believer? Au wewe si muamini. Just tell me, wewe ni muamini? Unaamini Yesu Kristo kuwa bwana na mwokozi wako? Unaamini Yesu Kristo ni yeye yule jana leo tata milele? Unaamini Yesu Kristo ni mponyaji? Sema amen. Kama if you believe just go there down and comment. Write something there down. Write amen I believe. Comment amen I believe. Say amen I believe. Unaamini Yesu Kristo anaponya magonjwa yote? Amen I believe. Unaamini Yesu Kristo kuwa mponyaji wako? Amen I believe. Unaamini Yesu Kristo anaponya hata corona? Amen I believe. Unaamini Yesu Kristo anaponya hata HIV? Amen I believe. Now if you believe that and you believe his word my god my god my god my god my god if you believe that word <laughs> Listen Yohana 14 12 Yaani sitaki niongee Yohana 14 12 If really you believe that word Jesus said this If really you believe that word Jesus of Nazareth alisema hii Amen amen nawaambia yeye aniaminie mimi kazi nizifanyazo mimi yeye naye atazifanya naam na kubwa kuliko hizo atafanya Do you believe Jesus Christ either your personal savior Amen amen nawaambieni yeye aniaminie mimi kazi nizifanyazo yeye yeah, naye yeah, atazifanya sasa Yesu aliponya wagonjwa Yesu aliponya viwete Yesu aliponya wabubu Yesu aliponya kila aina ya magonjwa Yesu alifanya kila kitu Yesu alikausha miti Yesu aliwefanya divai kuwa hivi Yesu what Jesus didn't do He has done everything Yesu alishinda dhambi Yesu alishinda mauti Yesu ni uzima wa milele. Now haya yote ambayo Yesu alifanya. Kama wewe unaamini Yesu, aisemi kama wewe ni bishop. Aisemi kama wewe ni apostle. Aisemi kama wewe ni prophet. Aisemi kama wewe ni pastor. Aisemi kama wewe ni evangelist. It says kama wewe ni muamini. Uwe mwanamke, uwe mwanaume, uwe mtoto, uwe mkubwa, kama wewe ni muamini. It's in the Bible. This is not language speaking. This is the Bible speaking. It's not me. I'm only reading the Bible. I'm only reading the scriptures of Jesus Christ. Let me read it again. For your honor, dear listeners, dear honorable mothers and the fathers, I is not me. It's the word of God. These are not my thoughts. I'm reading what is written in the Bible. And what is written here if Jesus is the one who said it it's not me it's not me it's the bible here what he says my question only do you believe because this is the question do you believe i hope the answer is yes i do now listen i mean i mean surely surely no Verily, verily, sure, surely, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And a greater works than these shall he do. That is not me. That is not me. It's the word of God. And a greater than that. Na kubwa kuliko hizo. Yani sisi, tunapoto kufanya kam... Sisi eh kubwa kuliko alizozifanya Yesu. Kama ni wagonjwa tunawaponya zaidi ya wale alioponya Yesu. Kama ni wafu tunafufua zaidi ya aliofufua Yesu. Muamini, it says muamini. It doesn't say a pastor, bishop, apostle. Sisi wote wa Kristo wote dunia mzima, we have this job, we must do it. Umisha ponya wangapi? Wewe umisha ombea wangapi wakapona? Wewe muamini? Eh? 
umisha umbe una mtoto tu anagonjwa homa eh mtoto amegonjwa homa jamani eh utaenda hospitalini hospitalini wapi omba kwanza <laughs> sisi so, mtoto anamika eh eh ita pasta mtoto ame mtoto amepata shida usiku jamani tafuta ni pasta omba kwanza mama wewe simwamini <laughs> Yali mtoto ameanguka tu wewe haujaomba auja. mama ana panic kidogo simu pasta mtoto ameanguka mtu kumbuka katika maombi tunaenda hospitalini sasa mama sasa wewe <laughs> wewe umeomba sina nguvu pasta sina nguvu kabisa siwezi yani siwezi sina wewe ni mkristo eh hey, mimi ni mkristo ai wewe ni muamini eh hey, mimi ni muamini ai sasa why don't you pray kabla ya kwenda hospitalini omba kwanza huko hospitalini kuna mapepo imejaa mengine huko omba kwanza eh hey, wa Kristo wa siku za leo amna imani tena so if you believe jesus said it already my god psalm 1:15 ai 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 tusome sasa katika marko 16 marko 16 marko marko 16 Marko 16 na mstari wake wa 17 Sio mimi It is not slang please It's the Bible Listen what it says here Na ishara hizi And these miracles <laughs> Ah sikiliza hapo Mhm Eh nisome 16 ili muelewe vizuri Aaminie na kubatizwa ataokoka Asiyeamini atahukumiwa Aaminie na kubatizwa ataokoka sasa na ishara hizi zitafuatana na hao waaminio kwa jina langu watatoa pepo watasema kwa lugha mpya watashika nyoka hata wakinywa kitu cha kufisha hakitawadhuru kabisa wataweka mikono yao juu ya wagonjwa na watapata afya wanani waaminio we have hundreds and hundreds of believers around the world what are you doing we should not have hospitals We should not have hospitals in our days. We have billions and billions of believers around the world and people are getting sick. The world is crying because of corona. Believers, what are you doing? What the Bible says here. The Bible says we shall pray for the sick and the sick shall be healed. Believers every corner we have them but the, what the bible says about you hey to me put imani we lose everything that we had and this is what is bringing people to go beyond those fake prophets and now they are trying to make them like their own wife how is it possible that somebody can just take you and bring you in his house and he left you naked saying that he is healing you from the sickness is that true and you call yourself a believer this is completely wrong say amen kwa hiyo ndugu zangu unapokuwa muamini una nguvu zote nisichukue muda mwingi tu nimemaliza tayari unapokuwa muamini una nguvu zote ikiwa tu unaamini kikamilifu basi wewe una uwezo tele wa kuondoa mapepo yoyote ya kuponya magonjwa yoyote ya ku, you don't need a deliverance prayer if you believe kuna mambo let me tell you kuna mambo ya kufanya kwa ajili ya kukokota watu kwa Yesu ndo hawa ambao tunafanyia hawa because now nataka niombe niongee na nyinyi kuhusu karama ya uponyaji ni nini Karama ya uponyaji si kingine ni imani tu katika neno la uponyaji basi. What do you think is divine healing gift? The gift of divine healing. Hakuna mtu aliyepona katika Biblia bila imani. Wote waliopona walikuwa kwanza na imani. Na wewe kama ni muamini wa Yesu, una uwezo wa kuponya magonjwa yote. Now pray yourself. Kuna mambo ya kukokota watu ndio yale tunafanyika kwenye mikutano. Sio wewe ambao umeshaokoka. Hapana. Wewe umeshaokoka tayari huko ndani ya Yesu. Labda uniambie haujaokoka. Eh hey, hapo nitakubali. Lakini kama umeshaokoka kweli kweli, umeokoka kweli kweli. Umeamini kweli kweli. Kweli umeokoka. Kweli umeamini Yesu. 
kweli kweli huko tayari ndani ya Yesu na Yesu yuko ndani yako well, you have the power by yourself to heal that sickness simanishi kwamba uweze ukaombe eh, nani sekuru mnisaidie katika maombi ah uh-uh. simanishi kwamba uweze ukafanya hivyo uweze ukaombe nisaidie jamani na tutakusaidia pia hiyo sio shida sababu hata mitume waliomba nisaidieni tuombe nisaidieni hiki kwa hiyo unaweza ukaombe but remember you must know who you are before wewe kuomba ujue kwamba kwanza wewe unazo hizo nguvu before wewe kuomba mtu mwingine akusaidie katika maombi ila kwanza ujiamini we ujue wewe una hizo nguvu ndani yako you have that power in you you have that holy spirit in you you are born again you are baptized by holy spirit you are filled by holy spirit you have the word of god in you you have jesus christ in you you have all the power ufanyaje sasa uombe usilie mungu aliambia musa kwa nini kulialia nena walipokuwa pale mbele ile bahari huku mbele bahari ya shamu upande huu mlima upande wa nyuma wanakuja askari wa misri musa akaanza lia musa akaambia musa kwa nini mungu akaambia musa kwa nini unalialia nena una nini mikononi eh niko na fimbo huko na fimbo eh sasa piga hiyo hicho ndio kinakutua siku ya leo wakristo wanalialia nena una nini nina yesu eh hey, ongea command those devils to leave you pray <laughs> mimi nimepigiwa simu na watu wengi sana mtumishi mimi nina matatizo ninaotaga ninakula nyama usiku what can i do kumwambia hivi hizo ndoto sio nzuri hizo una watu unakula nyama sio nzuri sasa cha kufanya ni kimoja tu pray omba do you know who you are na namkumbusha kama yeye ni nani then i tell him go and pray hautaona tena unasikula pray and cast out all the covenant between you and those demo and those spirit akaomba na leo yuko vizuri wengi 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 wanatika oh mtumishi tunashukuru oh mtumishi tumeshukuru oh mtumishi wengi hao wakufanya tendo la ngono usiku wengi mm. I just tell them you have that power by yourself to do it mtumishi sawa lakini nataka nitoe sadaka a a sawa toa sadaka lakini kwanza omba kwanza wewe uta... vitaisha omba you just pray pray <laughs> Do you know who you are? You are a Christian. You are born again. You have the God God in you. You are in God. Pray. Omba. Hey. Sasa Mungu abariki hayo. Mungu abariki hayo. <laughs> Kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. 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 Na mimi nimejua sasa sisi ni nani. Kwa hiyo kila 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 muamini halisi ana nguvu tele za uponyaji wa magonjwa. Ila uwe ndani ya Yesu na Yesu awe ndani yako kisha homba Bwana wabariki sana Bwana wabariki sana tena sana asanteni kwa heri kwa sasa